Hello everyone and welcome back to another Lexmoto ride out. Today we're taking out a scooter that's been in the Lexmoto lineup for a good few years now. So why would we take it out? Well, it's time to find out whether the Lexmoto Aura is still relevant in 2023. Let's jump right in. So here it is guys, the Aura 125. This is a Euro 5 compliant bike that I have in front of me today. We did actually bring the Aura out a good couple years ago now. So there are some Euro 4 versions out there, but the Euro 5 version is the one that we sell today. And that means that the bike has been updated to comply with the Euro 5 regulations for emissions, basically. And yeah, this candy red version that sat right in front of me, it really does pop. Anyone that sees this color in the real light, you'll see that it just absolutely glistens, it shines in the sun it's got this sort of like metallic look to it it's a gloss paint finish and there is also a gray version too and that also is a gloss finish paint it's almost like um that nardo gray that you see on like audis and stuff it looks really cool super modern looking bike it is very very similar to the honda pcx but it does still have its own style and own look to it especially at the front on the headlight you'll see it has a more aggressive look than, than the pcx now i will be comparing the two a lot today we really think that the Aura 125 is the perfect competition and I'll explain why you might want to choose this over the PCX and save yourself quite a bit of money. So while I'm off the bike I might as well just tell you about the price of this bike. Currently at the time of filming this in July 2023 this bike comes in at £2,559.99p plus on the road. So the on the road price is down to your dealer. It's usually between like 100, 200 pounds on top of this RRP price. And this also does include a two years parts and labor warranty that is fully transferable with this bike. So if you did sell it within two years, the next owner can then receive the warranty benefits. It really does help with the resale value of this bike if you did want to sell it. And yeah, it gives you a bit more of that peace of mind basically. So comparing it to the Honda PCX, which comes in at £3,599.99p and that is including on the road pricing and they also do have a two years parts and labour warranty with their scooter. So side by side, very very similar on the warranty front but very different on the price. You're talking about £800 difference between these two scooters already and if you're new to the world of two wheels 800 pounds really does go a long way once you're talking about getting all your motorcycle gear doing your cbt money towards insurance you can pretty much cover that within that extra 800 pounds and as i'll explain you'll pretty much be getting a very very similar bike before we get on i'll just show you that we do have a keyless ignition on this bike it is fully keyless and the key looks like this all i have to do is basically press the middle button to unlock it and then I come over to the dial here, twist it to the right, and then the bike's turning on. And from this point, I can take it off the center stand, hold down one of the brakes, press the electric start. Hey presto, we have life. From here now, I will put this key in my pocket and zip it up. Every time that I jump off the bike now, I can literally lock it via that key and then unlock it as i'm walking back to the bike as well very handy actually and once you get used to it it is just something that you just find super useful especially like saving those little milliseconds of time if you're jumping on and off this bike in very quick succession draw a lot of delivery drivers will be doing and find that very useful all right let's go for it let's get out it's the aura it's the ride out let's go let's do a little bit of a refresh a recap you never know you might learn something new i'll try and be as informative as possible oh horses slow right down wasn't expecting that always expect the unexpected in devon that's what's written underneath the sign when you come into devon apparently Brownie. on this aura 125 we've got your pretty much standard sized scooter wheels at 13 inches front and rear Comparing that to the PCX, the PCX does actually come with a 14 inch front wheel. Slightly bit bigger, but you know, it's only an inch difference and I'm sure my girlfriend will tell me that does mean a lot. Um, the small rims, again, just really help keeping this bike very maneuverable, incredible handling, allows you to zip through traffic. Moving inside the wheels, we've got the brakes. On this Aura 125, we have 240 millimeter discs with twin piston calipers. And comparing that to the Honda PCX, which actually has 
220 millimeter discs we do actually have better brakes at the front on this bike and at the rear so the honda pcx comes with a drum brake at the back whereas this comes with a 220 mil disc at the rear so if braking and safety is a higher priority for you then you can give the aura a big tick do you know what i'm gonna go a slightly different route today i'm just gonna see where the road takes me to be honest oh, i can feel right away the handling on this bike is so flickable due to it having quite a sort of medium wheelbase and those smaller little rims the bike just rolls from side to side so easily and with a wet weight of 134 kilograms it is super light as well similar weight to the honda pcx that comes in at 130 kilograms so size wise these bikes are very very similar they have an almost similar seat height as well the aura coming in at 770 millimeters and the pcx is like 764 i think the suspension on this bike is just your standard telescopic front forks again pretty much the exact same as what is on the honda pcx do you know what they just do their job seem to soak up the normal road like this and go over potholes just fine and then we've got twin rear shocks at the back it does make a big difference if you just have one rear shock at the back you will feel it once you start going over some pretty deep potholes i'm sitting really comfortably 45 miles an hour slight uphill we generally advertise this bike as doing a top speed around 60 miles an hour and i did a bit of digging actually to find out what the honda pcx one was on all the owners groups and in a few forums a lot of people were saying they were really struggling to get over 63 miles an hour so again very very similar on the top speed of this bike even though the power horsepowers are different with this one coming in at around 9.2 and the honda pcx is 12 ish to around 12 horsepower after doing a little bit of research online just to see what you guys were all saying about the aura i did come across a couple threads that were asking how to speed it up a little bit the most common one being to get some lighter rollers fitted in and then with some tighter clutch springs apparently so that will actually help bring the speed up the acceleration and the top speed of this bike up a little bit more moving back from the suspension we've got our light cluster at the front this aura has a really nice looking front end i would say with that sort of aggressive look these led drls running constantly as you're as you're riding really nice bright led headlights it's got led brake lights they just shine bright and they really do help keep you safer allow other road users to see you a lot sooner so that is a huge plus point we do also have a little screen up on here fly dart screen whatever you like to call it and it's just fully blacked out you can't see through it at all it's not really helping too much with airflow it does at top speeds push the air sort of up in towards your face but if you really did want to unbolt it there are i think just four screws let's have a look yeah there's just four screws at the front and then you can fit an aftermarket tool screen up towards here if you really did want to put one on and then behind the screen we've got this really nice display of a mix between digital and analog so if your digital display did go down for whatever reason you still do have the analog miles per hour on the left hand side and then your revs on the right hand side this bike is fully automatic transmission so you can't change gear on it i'm just able to nip through things very easily it feels very comfortable you know the perfect sort of size i'm not very wide here at all if i wanted to filter through traffic I feel very comfortable doing that oh the good old crusty cob oh god i got them belgian buns in the window oh, should i stop and get one? Oh, look at that danish i can't the handlebars themselves not too wide but also not too thin where it feels very unstable literally just so perfect in front of me right now nice response on the throttle as well i'm just giving it a twist and it is just responding right away another great little feature on this bike that comes as standard is the usb charging port next to this sort of little glove compartment that's open so if you wanted to charge your phone in there this bike has an eight liter fuel tank which will be doing 
It's about 190 miles of range, as this bike does around 90 to 100 miles per gallon. Something that is very, very important on scooters is the seat. Now, this seat does have a little butt rest halfway up it, which I will say I am pushed up against. I am 5, 10, 5, 11 ish. I'm sat right back into it it doesn't feel uncomfortable it just doesn't allow me to move any further back if i did want to but the seat itself is still really comfortable i've ridden this bike uh, to and from work 50 mile round trips and doing that has been no issues whatsoever nice to see a bit of sun again july has been moist yeah let's do a little bit of a brake test when we get to that silver car on the right doing 30 miles an hour slam the brakes on and brake oh nice i'm still at the front of that car there god that's got to be one of the best brake tests i think i've done that was really good 30 miles an hour and brake oh a bit of a skid <laughs> a little bit slippery on that road there then like i'm saying the wheels will lock up if i don't release them in time 30 brake Cool. The brakes are feeling sharp, but as, as it is doing 30 miles an hour on some damp roads, there is going to be a little bit of slipping. You will find you'll know where your scooter or your bike can hold on to. Oh, Jesus. That's a little bit of a dodgy corner. Let's dive down here actually. See how well the bike does at a low speed corner let's say i just needed to do a 180 i've come down the wrong road i'm gonna indicate right look over my shoulder and feather the bike round really nice actually let's try it the other way don't usually go this way but let's see if i can oh, oh i've done it <laughs> nice major top tip for anyone who's just got into Ride in, look over your shoulder and look ahead of you to where you want to be and the bike should follow. Do not look down, otherwise you will end up putting your foot down and sort of stalling yourself. We know a lot of you guys want to put a top box or a delivery box on this bike and if you need to put any sort of luggage onto this bike, do actually sell a luggage rack on CMPO. I think it's about 42 quid. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. It is really quick and simple just to unbolt the pillion handles and basically put that in and then you can attach your universal luggage boxes straight to the back of that underneath the seat there is also some space that you can put some stuff in it's not enough room for a full face helmet unfortunately but it still does give you an option to put stuff if you didn't want to carry a backpack all the time so a lot of comments that we do see online actually are about where the bikes are built a lot of people might be buying their honda pcx's because they believe that they're built in japan whereas in fact a lot of them are actually made in thailand the standards of bike being built in these asian countries now has, has really dramatically improved the standards are very very high but yeah we just find it funny that a lot of people you know kind of slate against lex moto because you know made in china built in china and all that whereas if they actually just took two minutes to search for their bike vin number online they would find that you know it is also probably built in china in the same city or thailand or even india another question that we get asked quite a lot is what are the service schedules of our bikes and now i'm gonna flash up on the screen what the service schedules are of all of our 125cc euro 5 model scooters and motorcycles so if you want just pause the video now if you were to compare our service schedules to the honda pcx you will see that our service schedules are actually very similar to the honda pcx's so for example at 24 months you've got a 15,000 miles or 24 months service interval for our lex moto aura or for the Honda PCX at 24 months, you're looking at 16,000 miles or 24 months, whichever comes first. A lot of people do question the first service interval being at 500 miles or six months. That is literally just to change out the factory oil. After 500 miles, you want to get some nice new fresh oil in there. And generally, like the servicing costs of these bikes are pretty low. To keep your warranty, it has to go back to a Lex Motor approved dealership. Generally, the prices to sort out these bikes will be a lot cheaper than any sort of Honda cost. I've 
ended up in a holiday park. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn around. You're not only saving on costs as the one-off payment for the bike itself by getting this aura, you're actually saving money throughout pretty much the life of this bike due to our servicing costs being a lot cheaper, the parts being a lot cheaper to get online and just maintaining the bike. All of those savings do add up. I need to head out and find a flowing road. We still haven't managed to see 60 miles an hour up on the dash just yet but hopefully with a bit of magic take us onto a top speed run three two one all right so we check back in to find out if we can do a top speed run on the aura 125 as i head onto this a road yeah didn't fancy taking the motorway today so we head up this hill steady little incline here i'm on 55 56 miles an hour we're at 59 already come on there's 60 Yes, we wanted to see 60 on the dash and we've got it. Come on, 61. I saw you for a split second then. There we are. Come on. We might have to do what we did on the Nexus and tuck right behind the bike. There's 62. I'm going to go into tuck position. 61. 62. Come on, 63. I'm into the red on the revs. The PCH can do 63! Come on Aura, don't let me down! You can do 63! Come on! Do I need to tuck even more? There's 63, I saw it! It was a split second! <laughs> but it did 63! Alright, I'm going to go back up again. <laughs> I reckon the top speed of this bike is around like 62 but if you tuck down you can get 63 miles an hour for less than a millisecond that was exhilarating is the aura still relevant in 2023 and i've got to say that the aura is very much still relevant in 2023 still performing fantastically as i've gone through all the features you can see how close it is to a honda pcx but coming in at almost a thousand pound cheaper but it really is down to you to decide which is the bike for you but i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a few extra bits about the aura today if you want to stick around for the little bonus feature at the end i'm about to fuel it up and find out how much it costs to do that but as always thank you very much for tuning in guys i've had a great time any questions please put them down in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you on the next one cheers guys you we're into the bonus feature this is where my voice changes i'll stop that that probably sounds horrendous right let's see how much it costs to fill up the aura i'm on two bars at the moment so i'm not even near empty but we shall see how much it costs okay so flick the ignition off to seat in fuel mode press the fuel button and the flap will open then all i need to do is twist the fuel cap off and then we've got e10 unleaded fuel for this one as always you can put e5 in it as the sticker suggests at the top there i reckon this is going to cost 11 quid let's have a look oh jesus filled up a lot quicker than i thought you want to leave a bit of breathing space and we're only at seven quid wow fuel prices have gone down oh god again when am i gonna learn just stop when you have the chance i have massively overfilled that so yeah seven pound 31 i was only on two bars of fuel so pretty good how many liters have been put in there nearly five liters okay so we had another three liters left in there so there it is let's go and pay looks absolutely sick an old e-type i think it is thanks trish all right so here it is the beauty of keyless ignition walking back and press open the bike has recognized i'm coming back switch the dial key back in the pocket and we are off on our merry way Woo